So CLA has been arrested on TikTok Live and it's actually insane. It finally seems that these TikTok Live begging cretins are finally getting judged by their actions on the app and it's lovely to see. All people like CLA do is spread hate, scream and shout and beg for gifts on the platform. This only causes negativity and I'm glad to say that our prayers have been answered. So hello everyone, welcome or welcome back, I'm Jit Vaz and today we're going to be throwing ourselves, slinging our way down down through the mud to see what CLA has been recently doing on TikTok Live. As it's been a while, we obviously have so much to cover on her because she's such a problem on the app. And what better way to start than her being arrested on TikTok Live? Brilliant. We covered this stain on the bottom of the toilet bowl before, but if you need a refresher on who this type of person is, really, she's just a big handful. She's a creator on the TikTok Live platform who basically spends 24-7 begging for gifts and screaming at and shouting at people and this is apparently entertainment and if you want a refresher perfect example here no one cares about the wi-fi i feel like she did slightly care about the wi-fi i mean why else are you out here looking like a cherry sunburn's not usually that bad is it and i absolutely love looking at all of her outbursts and uh, don't worry we've got quite a few to come because i mean it's been like what a month but first we're going to start off with the newest biggest piece of problems that she's had uh, because she had a visit from the police last week as one of the problems that's been noted across many different forms of her tiktok lives is her problem with a certain ism you know she might be a bit ist to people who uh, don't look like a full white cracker like me and considering the state of me at the moment probably cracker doesn't do justice and yeah it's finally caught up with her because she seems to have got arrested whilst on tiktok live which i mean at least it's a bit on brand for her to be live during such a traumatic experience. So let's go through this. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, please do hit the like and sub. I'd love to see you back and it helps me out a lot. So let's watch her disappear into nothingness. I'm live all the time for my own protection. Um, yeah. To me, they sent me gas masks. You know, they've like, it's been constant with emergency service, leaking my address. Like I'm, everything's on live now, so it's recorded. Yeah. I'm live all the time for my own protection. Um, yeah. Online for your own protection, are you? Well, <laughs> that's a new one. The only way you need to be protected is because of the ways that you act on these social media platforms. So it's entirely because you're live. That's why that is a problem. But sure, play chicken. So obviously we were called because there was a disturbance. There's no disturbance here. I've just been live. I've yeah, got my okay. whole live. Okay. Um, so there's no disturbance at all. I've got the whole live recording. Okay. I shouted. Yeah. Okay. So, because I shouted. Okay, well, we're, yeah. We're I do apologise for no, shouting. No, no, that's I've got that's a fine. lot just going on and dealing with, and I'm dealing with a lot of people. Yeah. I have um, this whole social media, and I've been blocked on two accounts, and I'm trying to do the leaderboard. Yeah. I'm, I'm speaking. So, the reason why she's shouting is because uh, she's doing a leaderboard, right? Okay, uh, yeah. Is it not because you maybe can't control your anger? Could that be potentially one of the reasons? Could it be the fact maybe you're a little bit too hot to handle? Or is it maybe, 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 just because you're a twin? But you know what, you're right, Mylan. Leave her alone, trolls, you white knight. You are a saving grace in this community. Yeah, I'm, I'm speaking to TikTok. They're calling me at these times now because they're in China. And, you know, I've just got so much going on. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, then I've got to go and sort. I've got other stuff going on uh, in regards to my work and business. Yeah. And um, so... <sighs> Just so that you're aware, yeah. Um, at this stage, yeah. you are currently wanted for an what? offence. For um, an offence? It's, it's for... Um, Malicious communications, Chelsea. What's that? So apparently you've been on the 21st of January. Yeah. It's uh, alleged that you've been making racial remarks online. No, no, no. I was on about my sons and well, I was intoxicated in well, alcohol. Well, listen, Chelsea, all right. So all the right. time now is 3.31. You're under arrest for that offence. All right, all okay. Right. No worries. Right. So you do not have to say anything. But can I just get some socks on? Of course you can. Alright. Chelsea, one second. She went very quickly from chatting absolute sh**. 
to just turn it around and be like, all right, oh, that, that, that's fine, that's fine. But I covered this incident in a 10 minute section of one of my previous videos, which unfortunately YouTube wouldn't let me monetize. So thank you for that YouTube. It was all perfectly above board and fine, but fair enough, strike me down. But essentially what had happened here is that she was on TikTok Live, she drank a lot, and she was in a little bit of a Larry mood. And she was talking about her kids who are mixed race. And uh, she was mentioning the, uh, uh, the the word, the word, calling them the word, amongst quite a few other things. And it was quite disgusting to hear her speak like that about her own children, yet alone the fact that her children are mixed race as well. Like you'd think if the father uh, was not white and the children are also not white, that she'd maybe temper the mood a little bit to sort of fit around the situation, you know, maybe not be that rich, but seems not. And I mean, I'll leave a link in the description to the clip so you can have a look and see for yourself, but I, I just find this disgusting, to be honest, it's horrible. And the fact that it's been reported and she actually ended up in this situation with the police is actually quite commendable considering she definitely needs some sort of course to understand the things that you say might have some consequences. And also that having a couple of shots, you know, on the night, uh, that doesn't qualify what you said, it, it doesn't. Let's just do the portion. Can I just go to the toilet as well? Name defence, you do not mention. But you know that's nothing racist because it wasn't aimed towards anything. Chelsea. Can I give you my lawyer's details as Chelsea, well? Chelsea, of course you can, but I tell you what, yeah. get your shoes on and what. You know my right? son's a mixed race. Chelsea, honestly. And on all my, I'm, so I'm just, yeah, it's I'm, cool. Chelsea, but I was... I'm just telling you the allegations. All right, no worries. Do you want to get your... I need the toilet, guys. I'm getting arrested, guys. Thank God. He's answered our calls. But like, seriously, this actual clip that, once again, I can't show, it, it really is bad. Like, it is bad, it sounds malicious, and she's talking about her own children. I'm pulling the card of, oh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I know a couple of people who are not white. Um, yeah, it doesn't work that way. Especially when you're projecting yourself on a TikTok live to about 4,000 people while absolutely rat assed But unfortunately, she managed to get out on bail, so she's back out now. And it's a real shame, but of course, she's gonna flex about it, isn't she? I mean, what else is Chelsea Liart not gonna do for fame and attention? I will just note as well that a lot of people were saying that that police uh, arrest like clip was fake and the officers were fake because she couldn't see the officers and because of a couple other things as well such as them saying the name Chelsea when she isn't called Chelsea she's actually called Leanne but honestly that's a bit bullshit there's no way that that is going to be an actual fake scene because uh, looking at it, why, if all crimes, would they choose the one which is actually the, one of the most harmful things that she's done? Like, there's absolutely no need to cut off your own face to spite your tongue. I'd have got it if the police came up to her door and were like... Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna arrest you for, for 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 begging for TikTok live gifts, but they didn't. They didn't do that. It was for something that was very bad. So yeah, wrong. Anyway, let's see a chatter. Hello, everyone. Hello. Just letting you all know that I'm really well. Um, I'm all good. Um, just to let you know as well, I'm actually blocked on Root Stallions, so I'm gonna be going live on this account. So everyone, make sure to follow this account. I will be going live very soon. I did forget to mention this last one got a blocks on a 47th account. So now she's on a 48th. Really good track record. Booyah car in the place. Oh, a is back, sweetheart. So many of them haters only wish that I was locked up in a prison cell and kept behind bars. Well, a bitch like me is a queen and that's never gonna happen. You know why? because I'm a good person. And you know another thing? God is with me. Uh, happy Ramadan to everyone as well. Booyaka, a roots. I'm almost certain she just said Ramadan wrong, but I was starting to think that God was with me. So uh, I'm sad that he's left the vicinity of my household because she's back out on the streets, ready to cause terror again. And not only that, she managed to actually escape almost everything. I can't believe it guys, affected. Um, but I can't talk about anything at the minute, um, with anything, uh, yeah, I can't talk about anything, but I've not been to court, I don't have any charges, and, um, 
spin on that to everyone that <laughs> wanted the worst. What a prick. Shove it up your ass, man. This to me really does seem like an obfuscation of truth because yes, she doesn't have any charges yet, um, I think. And also, no court, well, you don't go to prison and then the day after you end up in court, you get bailed and then you end up in court later. So I think she's hiding the truth there as well. But she's not one to lie, is she? She's not one to obfuscate the truth. Plus for me, and it was kind of cool because I've been in here, um, I wasn't even in the police station that long, and then I've come here and I've just been watching everyone chat about me, talk crap, say I need sectioning, oh, I hope she's been arrested or this. So I've just been watching and letting everyone do their thing. Natalie knew, even today, but I told her, make, don't tell anyone that I'm out. <laughs> like, just make out, like, whatever. I'm glad you've just been watching. Uh, well, I'm watching now and I'm horrified. So absolutely, because people are too nosy, but I'm always one step ahead, sweetheart. So yeah, another allegation was made in regards to, you know, but I can't talk about enough of that. Oh. Yeah, the fact she can't talk about it is because it's still ongoing, so... Uh, she's lied. People are also a bit too nosy at the CLA. Well, why are you on live 24-7 so you're able to be in the position for people to nosy on you? I'd say I don't think she thinks this through, but I don't think she thinks. <laughs> like, I just think her entire existence is just a big cloud of static swirling around in her head and she's just, yeah, she's just gone. But yeah, absolutely. Just like the same shit with the Dorchester and what? Yeah, you're going to tell me what? Racist for what? No one did nothing racist at the Dorchester. Talking absolute crap. People just trying to stalk and this and that. So don't forget, people are being under investigation at the minute as well. Um, so, you know, and the police are very aware of me. Uh, there was a police officer there that said that I was better than EQ. And he remembered me with EQ. And he's like, oh, you're so much better. <laughs> like, I thought this guy's an absolute legend. <laughs> oh, wow. You're a bit better now that you're not hanging around with, like, an actual criminal that ended up in court for <laughs> benefits fraud. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd hope you're a little bit better, CLA. So, yeah, she's not affected by any of the situation at hand, which uh, really, really well done, CLA. Really, really well done. Why can't you talk about it then? Uh, all right. And because of this, she has to go on a big tour about this situation that happened. Because even though that people are so nosy and people really want to know what's going on, uh, she doesn't shut it down at all. She makes it perfectly fine to talk about it. Such as this one here in a friend's house. I have a very big surprise for you. Did she just score a last minute screamer to win the game? Like, <laughs> what's going on there? Then, of course, flexing about it. Hello, guys. Uh, right. So, yes, I just want to let you all know um, that I've been out. Um, I've not been to court. Um, yeah, absolutely, darling. I'm just really another The police actually checked me really well. I, um, and quite a lot of the police officers knew me when I was. Uh, in the police station. You know, that's not a good thing, right, CLA? That, that's definitely something you don't want to be known for. I don't think any police officer knows me by first name, and I'm quite happy about that. So anyway, I'm just getting already. Oh, a bitch like me. Oh. So yeah, absolutely, you know how it is, do Oh. Oh. oh, welcome to the new part. Oh. Um, just setting in, you know how it is. It's, oh, great wardrobe collection, sweet. Oh. Oh. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going up in the world, sweet. Oh. Let them talk. Cause uh, that's all they do. Oh, oh, darling. Like, well done. You've taken the elf of a route and you're in a temporary bed sit. Like, what do you want me to say about that? I think for good measure, because everyone's so nosy and nobody should be speaking about this, is she speaks about it on TikTok Live. It may be the worst screen recorded TikTok in history. Yeah, I tried to shit in the cell. I needed to shit. I got shit on my hands and they wouldn't even let me fucking wash my hands. I had to wash my hands in the toilet. No, I didn't. He didn't get sectioned. But you know he just smells so slurky because I've had to take a shit and it's stinking out the whole cell. Absolutely beautiful sentences there. Uh, I really, <laughs> I really wish that there wasn't this stupid TikTok sound effects that this 
person's put on this. Like, they're trying to be funny, but it's taking away everything and it's so cringe. But I'm glad that she washed her hands in the toilet bowl. That sounds totally normal and fine and i'm sure she's done that before i'm sure she'll do it again so really cool really fancy chelsea and this entire saga now comes to an end which is a real shame that we're not going to hear anything for a while on this situation but i mean there's always something constantly churning with cla and something else that did actually happen in the past couple of weeks uh, well literally straight after this um a house set on fire but this one actually wasn't for tiktok live this happened on the off chance i'm not sure how much i can show here but uh she was evacuated while on tiktok live and this spawned another set of just brilliant tiktoks for us to consume we're never gonna get bored of her are we so it starts off with this here Which then obviously leaves her to rush to evacuate and obviously this is a situation you don't want to see anyone in. I hate to have compassion for this person but uh, I am, it's a horrible situation, it really is, it is. And I'm glad she got out safe. She's then seen as they manage to contain the fire and get everything, everything's fine, everything's sorted. But obviously because of this she is now technically homeless for the time being. This then obviously leads CLA to get back to unusual while on TikTok live again. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So which one? The one? Above the third. Above the third? You're on the second. Yeah, so I can't yeah. go back. You're on the second. Okay. Okay. So, so you also can go back, because oh, you are both. Oh, I can't go back. Have you got my number? No. You, no one answers to me anyway. I'm live yeah. on TikTok. We've got it all recorded. Okay. Look, 10K. So, let me, let me check what the situation This guy's just trying to sort out, you know, the fact that people cannot go back into the house because there's been a fire and then she's there just yeah being herself look at how many followers i've got look at how many people are alive now yeah that's not really the issue at hand cla cannot go back i will arrange for your hotel you know if you can go back they will touch them later so let me check someone is going but i can't go back because i'm on the second floor so you've just said that i can't go back because i'm not over the third floor so what does that mean oh I'm, i'll just sort myself out don't worry about it <laughs> I feel sorry for my neighbour, man. She's next to me, man. I pay for my neighbour to go in a hotel, innit? I feel sorry for your neighbour as well, because they have to be next to you, but for totally different reasons. I oh, don't know, man. It's a bit hot for me, because I'm in the public eye, man. So I'd rather just get myself a hotel. The only thing is, I've got my phone in there. It's got my online banking, and I don't know how much money I've got on this. I don't understand the methodology from her there at all because uh, she can't get a hotel because she's hot. What? What does that even mean? You have to get a hotel for yourself all the time because... I'm going to break it to her and mention that uh, quite a lot of famous people end up being in hotels at points. It's called uh, it's called travelling. And I don't know by how you paying for it with your personal bank details, therefore making you more accessible on that level. Uh, how how could that make it any less more irrelevant? What? what? As you can see, she's just blown my brain away because I don't have a clue. So yeah, I'm glad to know that if I don't use any of my personal details to get a hotel i'm at more risk than using my personal details and the reason why this fire happened was apparently because of an electric scooter which uh, i've seen that happen quite a few times uh, and no it's not cla's before you ask she's not riding around on a scooter she's in a lambo electric bike battery caught fire is all it was maybe was it from an electric bike? Oh my god, you've got to be joking. Never mind, that's just what someone said in chat. <laughs> There's no, nobody knows what it's actually 
because of, you know. I sit here and I do these videos and there's just so many times that CLA just manages to astound me with her ability to retain and bring in new information. A TikTok live chat has never lied about anything before, have they? But yeah, that concludes the saga. She managed to stay in her own home and everything was fine, but uh, she managed to TikTok live the entire thing. So there we go. But I've shown you some relative new stuff that has happened in her life and it's been crazy, but I think we need to bring back down to the level of CLA, the normality of it, because she has so many instances on her lives where she just really shouldn't be either talking or doing something. And the first example I have here is her rigging up the council to complain about the problems in her house. Because, you know, obviously, if you've got a problem with your house and you need to talk about it to, like, a landlord or whoever owns it, the best thing that you could do is go on a TikTok Live with 3,000 plus people there and chat all about it. She always says that she does this for her own safety, but I cannot think why this is safe at all. Uh, like, let me give out the private information once again. She's not the smartest tool in the shed. <laughs> oh, Tony. Well, yeah, at least you sound bloody professional. Too professional for the housing. <laughs> Is that a risen up a, uh, a landlord? <laughs> also really nice to hear the other person on the phone. At least she's being private in that sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, so this is the thing. They want about 10 grand off me. I don't even know what's going on. I have to just get my lawyer to sort this out because I've just come off benefits because I'm making a lot of money on TikTok. The fact that she's just come off benefits is insane to me. Absolutely insane. And it screams of... Uh, benefit fraud but that is an alleged thing that i am saying i i do not mean that i'm just covering my back in case i get sued but surely with the amount of money that she was earning across these entire things she was saying she was earning 40 grand a week which obviously she wasn't earning 40 grand a week but she was saying that she had made so much money on tiktok live and how can you have done that for so many months to only just come off benefits now i'm pretty sure the cap is when you actually get a job that i, I believe it's like it's somewhat like over a grand a month, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. And obviously it depends on the situation, but the fact is she was earning a lot of money on TikTok Live and she's only just come off benefits. And when you see her like rubbing hands at points with Evil Queen, who is actually like a convicted benefits tax fraud, it paints a beautiful picture, doesn't it? And how much is it? 500 pounds? Oh no, you said they've sent me an overpayment on housing benefit for about 10 grand, but... Well, I'm not paying no, I'm not paying no rent until they sort out my repairs, sweetheart. Do you understand now? So I'm actually paying. I'm not sure that's how tenancy works, CLA. Like, I understand you might need some repairs because you've been smashing up everywhere, but um, yeah, that's not how it works. I'm glad that I'm at the ripe old age of 24 and she's sat there at the ripe old age of 42 uh, and I know more about rent. Really makes you think, doesn't it? There he is. All right, so I've had a letter from the housing benefits saying I owe £10,000, but obviously I'm not paying that because they're taking the mic and I've got my lawyer dealing with this. So, so if you want to... I don't mind, I'll pay £10,000 rent and then you guys can leave me alone and just make the repairs because, you know... Yeah. All right, never mind about the privacy. She's just gone and, yeah, put out a phone call in front of thousands of people. Uh, is that a law break? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure for stuff like this, you need two way consent, but um, yeah. So, you know, I, so I struggle with um, digits and numbers and all this. Um, I just find things that are really difficult, but I'm great at cooking and doing things like, you know, with my hands art and stuff, but just creating but just non-business you know it's that kind of yeah not sure what that has to do with it. So let's do an exercise. Uh, shall we put our hands up if people believe that she's actually going to pay that 10 grand? I'm, I'm waiting. But it's just insane to me. Putting this on TikTok Live in front of thousands of people about your current problems that you're having with your housing agent or estate or whatever the
fuck it is. And you're doing this public. It's so public. I just don't get it. I don't know if she thinks it's like an entitlement thing in the uh, I'm so famous, I can do what I want, but I just find it really grotty. And I mean, pay back your 10 grand, see you later, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Especially when a couple of months ago you were bragging that you only had a couple of grand of rent and then you paid everything off, which I mean, if you're on 40 grand a week, you would have been able to do that but yeah she seems to be up to her similar tricks because as you can see here uh, she's back and uh, delivery's already gone wrong the idiots have delivered the food to the wrong place man to the f school they've delivered the order to school to a kid's school and then they're trying to say that you've got the food. We're trying to tell the restaurant, we don't have the food. The driver's saying it's delivered, but on my app it's saying that the, still, the food's still on its way. So I've had to call the restaurant because that's the only way. Then they're saying we've already delivered the food. I'm saying no one's got no food, man. Are you dumb, man? She's cussing them in Arabic because it's Arabic restaurant. She's cussing them. <laughs> we love being sick. Yeah, cussing in Arabic. <laughs> I'm not sure how she manages to get so many wrong deliveries. I don't know who's inputting the orders. Like, I, I don't get it. But it's ruined. Everything's ruined. All she wants is some f***ing food and she can't have it. So she's a little bit out of pocket. That's a shame, but I mean, she's always got stuff that she could be doing in the background to make a little bit more dough and then also to progress herself along as a beautiful and brilliant content creator. And one of them examples that we could see here is her latest advertisement. <laughs> so it turns out that uh, she must have got a pretty good offer, maybe like 200 grand, something like that, considering her rates, to work at a milkshake shop and uh, do some promotion for him. So she's fine finally got a job. She's definitely off benefits now because she's got this job and she's gonna be a millionaire in no time. Having this on the side and then also a little bit of TikTok to, you know, just bump up the price a little bit. Poof, she's doing well. Hey, you've all been telling me to get a job, so here I am, darling. I've got a job, so uh, I'm working at this milk. She moves around like a cartoon character, doesn't she? Like the way that she just bops around, like legit. She she is she isn't real. She is not a real person. Hey, so you've got to come and see me. I'm gonna be working all this week, guys. So what we're gonna do, and don't forget, this is my first time making a milkshake. So we're gonna stick in the strawberries now. Sorry, love, you're 42. How have you not made a milkshake in your life? What? It's not exactly something extravagant, is it? Like, it's not like, oh, I made a curry from scratch. It's like, I put milk and ice cream with some fruit and I blended it. I'm not sure how she's never, ever, ever done that. Fill this up with the milk. Let's go. Um, I'm just looking for the thing. Oh, darling. Oh, we put the ice cream, do we put the ice cream in? Not now, we're putting in after. Oh, oh it's all yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> I've just realised as well, she's using like a Gucci headband as some sort of like hairnet. <laughs> They've got viewed IG down, she's sorted. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Alright, so we do this now, guys. Right, so I think I'm going to stick some ice cream in now. Oh, darling. Here we go. Going in. Oh, yes. Look at that. One more. Maybe a little bit more. Right. Now what we do with the ice cream. Stick the ice cream. This is my first day at work, sweetheart. We don't even get the finish. Come on. I wanted to see how bad this milkshake would be. Like, I know you can't really mess up a milkshake, but I'm sure she'd find a way around that. And I think the fact that they didn't post the finished product probably tells you that, yeah, it didn't end up well. Oh, never mind. I found it. So we got the start of the brilliant promo here. Hello, darling. Are you? Uh, what can I get you? You have a collect call. A strawberry milkshake. Okay, coming up. Is it a pickup? Yes. Okay, yeah. Give me uh, five minutes and I'll have that for you. Thank you. Goodbye. So, guys, this is my first day. You've all been telling me to get a job, so... She dropped that phone so violently. Why have they kept that in? Oh, she's a cartoon character. She's not real. She's not real. So, I'm going to get one of these. Here we go. Let's see how my first milkshake has turned out. Wow, look at that. I'm not even gonna lie guys, that, wow, I've done smith. That is actually banging. I'm gonna have a taste. Mm. 
Yeah, no whipped cream, no no swaz to it, just straight down the hatch. That will truly leave you just craving. That is absolutely insane. I can't believe I've actually made this. Yo, them strawberries are banging. Mm. 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 <coughs> wow, this is what you call... Oh, shit, it's not for me, it's for the customer. <laughs> so she's jammed it and now she's got a... Give it to the customer. Great, brilliant. I'm sure they won't mind a little slobber from her, you know. Oh god, that sound that sounds terrible. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> that did seem quite positive though. And I mean it's brilliant promotion for a um a, a shake shop. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, if we can't get any of the A-listers, we might as well just try and get CLA because she's a really good representation for what a brand image should be, isn't she? Yeah, she is. And she seems really upbeat, uh, probably because she's getting paid, but <laughs> she seems very upbeat around the entire situation. And it makes you wonder, I wonder if she's uh, you know, turned a leaf over, she's gone past that now she's not this screamy shouty person that begs for gifts on tiktok live well i'm gonna turn that on its head for you because i've not shown you many of them yet but trust me it's been about a month so there is quite a lot of them there and the perfect example of how she has stayed the same throughout the entirety of it is this one the anthony lord rufus isaacs i've got a painting with valentine sissel i've got a painting with a shake hello no one really cares i'm an important person that guy in the background just bugging her off. But yeah, she's a really important person because she's got so many important people around her. She's got a painting with the Sheik, which I mean, you don't have to be next to someone to have a painting and I don't know how that makes you important, but go for it, cook. You cooked, CLA, you cooked. But she is trying her best. She's really trying her best to be better uh, by clearly stating again how important she is and how famous she is and how much money she makes and this, that, the other. And let's go once again to another situation of that. Because despite the amount of money that she's saying that she has, she's got a lot. Oh, she's got a lot, hasn't she? Well, uh, why is she talking about trying a gold dig then? She doesn't really think what she says through, but at the same time, she's on TikTok Live for 24-7, so you can say anything a million amount of times, and obviously the patterns will form. God forbid I ever get 1% like this. You know, I need to speak to... Some very rich people. Yeah, I'm, I'm needing to find people that uh, own a million pound properties and Chelsea's here. Nice, fresh. No, 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 no. You're earning 40 grand a week. You're just got off benefits somehow um but yeah you, you're earning so much money you, you shouldn't need anyone like that in your life you should be self-sufficient shouldn't you chelsea <laughs> I've had to watch through the entirety of that. It's like a two minute clip and Jesus Christ, she says about four words in it. Once again, just perfectly embodies why TikTok Live is one of the worst places to be. Like you have these odd outbursts every so often and then the rest of it is just staring at someone sit in front of a screen no cuts just boring like the entire time and this is meant to be entertainment meant to enjoy yourself well i hope everyone who watches this is really enjoyed because uh i go through torment this entire video and i do it every time and then i can't even be bothered showing you this clip it's about her uh, saying that she's quite overweight which fair enough lose a bit lo lose a bit of weight but uh she just starts doing this, so, hello, is she all right? To be fair, if I had to sit on TikTok Live for 24 hours a day, I would be doing the exact same, like, I mean, sleeping streams are enough, like, we, we need to start shaking our head, maybe I should just do this, like, the entire way through, the rest of the video, I'm already dizzy, <laughs> I'm already dizzy, but like I say, TikTok Live is a very weird and odd place to be around, and I don't get it, I don't understand it, and it even gets weirder over time as well, like, I, I just don't get it, it at all there's no redeemable features and the perfect example of what i've seen here with cla on tiktok live is they were doing some sort of box battle where it, 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 they're calling it a box battle but it's literally the exact same as everything else you just two people fight each other for gifts uh, for money so we're just sat there 
in the entire thing just sat there doing absolutely nothing and people are just gifting and this is entertainment like is this what cavemen enjoyed i, I don't get it at all but you, you have to see this so they're in this box right there's three of them as you can see there's CLA, there's sophros and owen the, the the host of the box battles sounds like a terrible innuendo and i can't play it because of the copyright but they were literally just music playing you can't hear anyone like the entire way through apart from the odd time that owen comes in with his sure sm7b and it's like oh uh, 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 you're enjoying guys and it, that that's it that's that's it and i don't understand it at all there's ten thousand people watching this live right but you see 10k and literally all they're doing is just standing there doing the odd love art symbol and then just staring into the camera the entire time with the constant celebrations this that the other coming off as you can see and i seriously want an explanation from what are you lot because i know that cla tends to do these things where she begs for money and gifts and etc and this is exactly what it is it's essentially a 10 minute battle in the box see who's got the biggest piece that that's literally it who's got the biggest c but i don't understand it like why are people donating to this why is this enjoyable to anyone why is this owen guy getting fame off of doing all like he's just staring there what do we achieve as a human race by having a box battle on tiktok live why are ten thousand people interested in it i need to know someone tell me because to me this seems like another money grab from cla that's literally it she just gets a load of gifts that's it like what is, is that it is that literally it? Because I think it is. But obviously, CLA didn't just do that. She had loads of other stuff, loads of brilliant other stuff that she's done in the past couple of weeks. And one of the things is losing her head, as she usually does. <laughs> as she usually does on TikTok Live. And in this instance, she's mentioning the fact that she knows people. That's it. So obviously, we should bow down. And no one even liked me in that pub. But the moment I stepped foot in there with John Deacon's daughter, oh. Everyone's up her ass. Why? Because her father's a legend. You're all fake as fuck. Oh. You know, I've been in John Deacon's house. You know, I get to sit with rock stars. I I've met Keith Richards. I've met his son. I've met Charlie Watson or Richard, whatever he's called. I've met, Ke I've met everyone that you can possibly know. So what, CLA, does that make you a better person? feel like it's lies. I feel like it's lies. And if she has met all these people, but like she's been in rock star houses, uh, well, fair play. But, like, they, of course they're not going to remember your name. This is the thing that I love with a lot of people when they try and show, like, how important they are. They'll mention the fact they've met these certain influencers or creators or film stars and things like that. And, yeah, you might have met them, but will they remember you? No. Do you know them by name? No. No, no, you don't. They're never going to see them again. Just because you've got an ego bigger than your block of apartments that you're in, it doesn't mean that you have the ability to try and be above anyone <laughs> like what? come on and screaming and shouting at a camera telling them that everyone's fake well you're fake yourself do you understand no one gives a i'm better than all of them <laughs> don't you ever disrespect me do you see any person apart from me i am the only chelsea lee art in the whole uk and i'm f crying to do good. Art is therapy. Nostrum. <laughs> the good nostrils to sign it off yeah yeah brilliant i'm not sure you are trying to do good cla something tells me you you might be trying to do good but your idea of good doesn't seem to be the idea of good of anyone else and i don't know where the art is therapy uh comes from <laughs> like art is definitely therapy um yeah well why, why are you doing any then uh, maybe you might need some you might need some art sometime soon so that's just another brilliant fallout from cla uh well obviously everything keeps churning and one example of it keeping churning is when she is on live on tiktok 24 7 having sleep streams literally against terms of service it's banned it is banned on tiktok like you're not meant to do it but she still finds a way to be able to do it um probably by changing her account every couple of weeks but in this instance of this sleeping stream she was awoken by her neighbors and uh she doesn't seem happy about it <laughs> This is then preceded by 30 seconds of, uh, I've not paused the video yet, yeah, you're actually seeing this, just, uh, 
staring into her camera when she's walking up. You've ruined my sleeping stream. You're the worst. It's so nice to see her create a new account and then instantly break terms of service, but it's just another day for Chelsea Liar, in it? And this certain sleep stream seems to have affected her. Uh, affected, as she says. Uh, one of her quirky catchphrases, like she's a cartoon character. But she really does seem like an actual character in like a really shit soap that just constantly causes problems. But um, one of the examples that we could see of her going out being herself is complaining about some dogs because obviously dogs are not allowed anywhere especially in the public when you're on tiktok live <laughs> see the speed that she turned around then it's like she heard an explosion Gucci and I <laughs> Why do they allow dogs in shops, man? Huh. I beg you, tell me. They shit and piss everywhere, and then they're just walking around the clothing. Maybe your dogs did that, CLA, when you had them, but uh, most dogs don't actually do that. Well, obviously they do it, but they don't do it in shops. Uh, it, for me, it's the way that she, like, turns around and, like, blocks the camera and then she's sort of, like, side-eyeing it like she's in some sort of, like, I don't know, some piece. Like, do you know them dramas where, like, someone's off doing something and then they just turn to the camera and just speak to it? Pretending the person isn't there and the person wasn't just staring at your phone while you were on TikTok Live, but, <laughs> yeah. They shouldn't allow dogs. You're not allowed to allow dogs into shops in Manchester or Birmingham. They never let you take a dog into a shop. In Birmingham, are you mad? They were like, are you crazy? You got a pot outside, man. It's the fact as well that everyone in the line with the dog uh, are looking at her because she's shouting so fucking loud. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this in public? You're just creating a scene. Fingers crossed they don't get robbed. So... Is she insinuating that she's got to rob her dog? <laughs> what? Nah, she must be. She must be. I, I think she's just finished. Like, uh, yeah. You know why it is? Because the dogs are too expensive, innit? So they have to bring them into store because the dogs are too expensive and they'll get robbed. Yeah. What's your view on letting dogs into the shops? I no, I'm saying what's your view on letting dogs into the store? And now she's just blabbering at the store attendant. Why would the store attendant want to be in on this? Why? Oh, oh, she's such an embarrassment, man. It's just crazy to me that she goes out into the public platform, expresses herself in this sort of way, and expects anyone to be like, oh my God, oh. I just don't understand how she goes out and she does this. Like, how does she go out and do this all the time? Absolutely no shame on her. Like, the people around her are staring at her or looking at her like, you what the fuck are you doing like and she firms it every time she just ignores it and i don't understand it it's so like embarrassing it's just embarrassing and then on top of that she's being seen like this to thousands of viewers online who are all waiting for a downfall it seems and so am i too but uh for the exact same sort of reasons the problems that she causes and the fact that she's just a big begging menace on tiktok live that's all she feeds for and something that i was wondering about this entire situation is how does she actually get away with it and come out with like shiny sparks and it turns out i believe it's potentially something to do with the fact that she's got management yes she's got social media management and you might be wondering how the fuck does someone who does stuff like this have media management and uh I don't know either. I don't have a clue. I don't have one. And I have no intentions to have one. But the, how how does she manage to have it? But as you can see here, she clearly is doing pretty well with them. As you can see, this is my TikTok. We have all the messages going on. And um, as you can see here, it says Chelsea's office. It says che Galaxy's agency. Yes, Chelsea's office. Uh, Chelsea's assistant. So this is someone now that's working because I'm a manager for me. So I'm your manager, yeah? I manage you and I and I put you with them because they're TikTok, yeah? You wouldn't know this because you're not a TikTok or a creator, but if I spoke to someone like Deidro, he'd have a totally understanding if I spoke to Ben Toy. It's probably like what Ben, so they've given me the same position, do you know what I mean? Because Ben's a boss and I'm a boss as well so um so yeah she seems to be under management 
influencer thing and she's got managers under her and she manages people and manage, manage, manage. A lot of big words meaning absolutely fuck all in the grand scheme of things. But they'll surely be directing her what to do to get more money. Um, that That's all I can think of. So maybe the idea that she does scream and shout and beg for gifts, it's all actually directed from someone else. And uh, this really isn't exactly what she's like. That's just a thought. I'm not entirely sure. Mainly because I don't want to get sued <laughs> and also when tiktok heard how upset i was about the gifting circle and they know what i've been through on this app you know no matter what you guys think they watch my lives they see what's going on da 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 you know they was you know they had to offer me a position they said we we you know we want to offer you a management position with tiktok and i was this was yesterday i was like what they're like, yeah, we want you to be one of the managers for TikTok and we want you to start recruiting who you think's got talent because you know better than us. I'm getting the word bullshit. I think if it was actually TikTok, it would have an actual TikTok logo on it, wouldn't it? Uh, just a thought, but yeah, no, you're right. You're right, Chelsea. You, you definitely are a manager at TikTok now. That's right. I thought you were trying to do good. Why are you lying? This is totally unfair. On So everything that I'm saying, they're totally agreeing with. Uh, in regards to gifting circles. So when I say don't mess with me, sweetheart, because when I go in, I go in. And uh, other people that have abused me, harassed me, all your accounts are getting taken down. One's gone already, more will go. You come anywhere near me, you threaten me again, you're already investigated by the police. No one needs to be scared, threatened or anything. No one gives a f if you know my address i don't think she realizes that what she is doing is threatening so it is slightly ironic that she's going on this rant what it's like a never-ending vicious circle of just shit. but she's not a manager of tiktok none of these stuff are getting done by police and you can cover it however you like if you're going to be horrible Maybe don't be as horrible. Maybe temper it a little bit. She probably is a nice person off the app. But the idea of this is just insane. The fact that she owns this TikTok management company. Uh, well, someone own, someone else owns it and she's a manager that manages people and she gets managed herself. No, it's just not true. It's all just lies. It's nothing. No, it's fake. Queen. So, yeah, and TikTok take now everything that I say serious, just to let you know. So if I catch anyone stepping out of line with me on this app, I'm going in. Once again, just threatening, just threatening, that's it. There's nothing to it. There's nothing to that. Once again, highlighting the type of person that CLA is. She's a beautiful, amazing creator who is always really nice to people who are nice to her. And even nicer to people that are somewhat critical of her. Considering a couple of weeks ago you were saying the, uh, the certain words that people shouldn't say on TikTok Live about your own children... Um, yeah, I I'm sure they believe everything you say. <laughs> Come on, man! Th this, stuff's, th this stuff's just, like, unbelievably, like, brass neck. So what type of good is she coming up with on the apps? Considering the fact that she's now a manager and she wants to have a high esteem in the world and make sure that everyone is in line, uh, how is she acting on the apps? Sh surely... Surely with a little bit of, like, astuteness. You know, maybe she's taking care about how she looks and acts on the app. Now. No, no, she's not. She's doing this. Come on! Come on! Come on! Bring it on! Little fucking Yo, one minute, I'm ending my life. I'm gonna boo your them. Never seen such a better moral model than like uh, someone, some neighbors coming up to a door and then she's threatening that. Yep. Yep. Re really kind of you, CLA. Uh, you're really leading by example. If any sort of manager in any sort of like business world uh, ends up doing something like you, they'll get a promotion. Clear to see that you're taking your role very seriously, miss. I, I will. I I'll hold my hands up. I'm sorry for making this video. I didn't want to expose you at all. Um, it's just, you're, you're a bit of a problem, I won't lie. But for good measure, maybe we just got her on off there, alright? Like, let's have a look at something else, uh, 
Let's see if she uh, handles another situation really well. What What are we guessing? I, I'll I'll let you guess in the comments. What happened now? Probably heard that's phoning police, doing all this. Probably heard yesterday. That I'm telling you, mate. All the all reported to the police, mate. You're all reported to the police. The police not everything now. You're all being reported. I've even got Jeffrey Star helping me. Roots. So let's go. <sighs> Pretty on brand having Jeffree Star work with you after uh, all the uh, ism stuff. Yeah, really good. He's another one of those that's like a astute prime creator who has absolutely nothing bad behind the eyes. You're not going to know nothing. You're not going to know where I am, where I'm going, nothing. I'm going on a holiday. That means no is going to know. I'm going to wear a mask. I'm going to cover up. You're not even going to know, man. Roots, darling. I'm going undercover sweetheart you ain't gonna know where i am where i'm going no one's gonna know does she realize that by saying undercover she just means i'm going on a holiday like like that's it that's it leave me alone and anyone that tries to come near me i'll get you arrested no. you don't know where i'm going la, 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 la. imagine so none of you because you don't you're not you know what you don't deserve to know what i'm doing and where i'm going why the I give any of you like entertainment. Maybe because you're on TikTok Live 24-7 telling people that you need to gift to them. So if they're going to spend money on you, you might as well like make it entertaining for them. Just a question. Uh, why, why are you doing this? Why, what, 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 what has... What has brought you into this situation, see it later. Come on. So yeah, she's handling that really well, isn't she? Uh, she handles absolutely everything brilliantly well. And the biggest problem for me is that Chelsea Liart does this every single time she goes live. Like, every single time you've got this cycle of her going on TikTok Live, begging for gifts for a bit, doing some weird, like, box mystery, open sesame, whatever the f*** it is, for quite a while. And then she'll come back on live... And then she'll sit down, she'll have a, an iced tea whilst TikTok live in. Maybe she might go out for some food and TikTok live instead. She'll then go to like any shop and TikTok live herself and push the camera in front, not in front of the faces of the poor staff that are just trying to go about the day, but she'll make sure that they're heard. She'll make sure that she speaks to them directly, gets them in trouble, and she'll go home and she'll sit in front of a camera, do nothing, not say anything for a couple hours, and then she'll do a sleep stream. And that is the cycle. That's the 24 hours of CLA. That's it. All I constantly see her do is chat about the people that are sending her money if people are sending her money fast enough or if people are sending anything at all and it really infuriates me no other creator on tiktok should ever be like this no other creator on any platform should be begging for money to the point of doing something like this there's certain ways that you can ask for money in certain scenarios with stuff like content because you are providing something no matter how sh what CLA is providing you are still providing some form of entertainment but that needs to be reciprocated by actually being f entertaining and she's not and the problem is her platform thrives off this it's the only reason why she exists still on the platform uh, the amount of time she can come back because she makes enough money from being so controversial that she manages to get a bump again into being controversial again on her new accounts and then the cycle just continues and really i don't think there's any reason that, or rhyme at all why anyone like her should be on tiktok why what are they achieving they are only causing more drama more problems and just making the app fucking shit and whether she's spreading, causing hate, or just being a problem, she's always just going to be there 24-7 on TikTok Live, just hoping that you just give her money for gifts. So I will once again ask everyone to not give her any money. She does not deserve it, especially in the situation she is in. And what do I think we should do with her? We should uh, ignore her, but that's impossible. That's really impossible. And she just continues to go down these circles. So I'm going to keep covering her as long as it it manages to get to the right audience because we need to see that people like this obviously shouldn't be there and the stuff that they do is just a caricature. It, Like I said, they are just a character. Um, even though, because they're online 24-7, this actually kind of is them. An outcome for this could probably be her going to prison again. But what do you think? <laughs> please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed, please do hit the like and sub. I love doing stuff like this. We're constantly going to be bringing more and more people to the fore. But for now, I've been Jip Vaz. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.